Hey everyone, today I'm going to be working on a project that I saw in Somerset Studio magazine and it's using the Tim Holtz paper dolls and botanicals. I've already done a couple of these this morning and you can see that I've stitched some fabric on. I've used black thread but you can use any colour thread you like and with the second one I've just used the fabric but I've pleated it at the top so you've got more dimension in your skirt and I've put a little bit of lace down the bottom. So we're going to start working on the next one and I've cut the skirt away from this paper doll and I've left the belt intact and also her arm of course and now I'm going to take the butterfly and I'm just testing it to see that it is a little bit big so I'm definitely going to cut the body of this butterfly away. The next thing is to position the wings on the cardstock and you can see the mark that I've made there for them. Now take the body of the doll and position her where you want her and use a pencil to mark her waistline. What this will do is give you somewhere to line your fabric up to so you can see the mark that I've made there. Now I've got some black and white striped fabric and I'm just cutting it roughly to the shape of a skirt. I'm leaving it a bit wider at the top because I'm going to gather this particular one. Now to the machine where I'm just sewing it up the top so that it's fixed to the cardstock, just back stitching that. The next step is sewing down the skirt so you're attaching the fabric to the cardstock. Because I've pleated this I'm actually sewing down the pleat of the skirt a little bit and you'll see that I'm going to repeat that for the other pleat and also the edges of the skirt. If you don't want to sew down the pleat you don't have to. I didn't on my other one, just this one I thought it would be a good idea to sew it down. After I put her body on I decided I wanted to give her an apron, she just looked like she needed one. So I've taken a little bit of black and white fabric and I'm cutting out a rectangle of that and obviously because I've already put the body of the doll down using foam dots I'm going to pull that off now so that I'm able to sew her properly and gather this little apron underneath her waistband. You need to be careful when you're taking it um, off with the foam dots that you don't tear the butterflies. They're pretty resilient because they are coated but I did manage to get her off without affecting anything and I wish I thought of it before I actually put the, um, the doll down <laughs> but I figured a little apron would look really cute particularly in this contrasting fabric so I've just gathered it a little bit up the top on one side I still want to see some of the black and white fabric along the edge of it so it does look a bit like an apron it is a little bit fiddly but I think I've got it there and now it's going to go under the machine and I'm going to sew it and then gather the other side of it. So once I sewed one side I then lifted my needle up and now I'm just using my tweezers to push the fabric into a bit of a gather so that the other side is also gathered and also making sure that the fabric is um, laying flat now I'm just going to sew that. Now put her body back on and you can see that I've left the apron free so I haven't sewn it down and I don't intend to and I think she looks really cute. I'm just going to do one more and this little girl is sitting down so I'm marking out whereabouts I need to cut her. So she's got an arm on the right hand side that I need to keep but I'm going to cut the rest of her body off. 
So I'm just shaping her in a little bit and cutting around her and then being careful not to cut her arm off but to cut around it. I've positioned her on the cardstock that I'm using and I've got some little tiny wings that I've cut apart. So I'm just working out where they're going to go and marking them with my pencil on the edge so I know where to stick them down. I've stuck the wings down, I'm just positioning the little girl and marking the bottom of her with the pencil again so I know where to put the fabric. And I've cut a piece of fabric that's shaped a bit like a skirt so I'm just uh, seeing if that's going to work for her. Now I'm sewing the skirt in place and I'm also going to um, turn the card so I can sew down the side. This is a flat skirt so I don't need to worry about any bulk or anything like that. Now I'm taking her legs and cutting some of it off the top, still leaving the legs intact. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top of the legs so that they stay in place while I sew. Then just sew across the bottom of the skirt and I'm going to reposition my needle so that it's at the top of the skirt on the other side just so it doesn't wrinkle too much up around the waistline. And then sew down the other side of the skirt. Then glue the body of the doll on the cardstock so her waist is lined up with the skirt and put a bit of glue on so her feet. So here they are finished. I've ended up making them into tags. I thought they looked quite cute as tags and uh, I'm really pleased with them. So it's a bit like um, playing with dolls. So I think I'm going to go and try and make some more. This is Deborah. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.